Chris Martin here with Creative Domain and today's quick tip tutorial is getting 3D position data out of Cinema 4D and using that in After Effects. So I have this very simple scene set up with a uh, floor and three cylinders and I've got a couple lights in there that are casting shadows and I want to be able to get some 3D data out of here and use it in After Effects. So what I'm going to do to illustrate the point is the third cylinder, the blue cylinder over here, I'm going to convert that to a polygon and I'm going to move its axis using the, the axis tool over here up to the top. Let's just go into different views and make sure we have it at the very top. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to right click it, go to Cinema 4D Tags and put an external compositing tag on it. Now that is going to take the information from the 3D information from this program and allow us to use it in After Effects. So now I just need to set a couple things up here. I need to go and set up my path which I've already done where it's going to be saved. And this is the real important thing here, this uh, compositing project file need to make sure you have this selected and select include 3D data. So then when we come over here and we render this out, and by the way this is only one frame long so there's no animation attached to it. So it renders this out. So now we go into After Effects and we open the AEC file that the, the uh, and that's created when you choose this compositing project file. So we double click that and it creates a couple folders for us here. And if we just double click the uh, Cinema 4D composition folder that it creates for us, you can see that we have our scene in here. But more importantly, we have this cylinder over here that came over from Cinema 4D. So now if we were to go in here and create some text, And let's scale that down just a little bit. And we will turn it into 3D, a 3D layer. You can see it jumps over here. But now what we can do is we can select the cylinder layer and copy its position and paste it to the position of the new text layer. And there you go. Now we have our uh, 2D layer. It's actually a 3D layer here in After Effects, but it's basically 2D. But it's uh, it knows the exact 3D position that we laid out for it here in Cinema 4D. So that is the quick tip tutorial for today. Hope that helps.